Nakavali Refugee Settlement in southwest Uganda has been sheltering refugees for more than 40 years. It's located in one of Africa's most volatile regions, near the borders of Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Covering a huge area of 84 square kilometres, the settlement is made up of 48 villages connected by rough roads and walking tracks. Living peacefully together in the camp are 36,000 refugees from eight different African countries. Recently, Nakavali has received thousands of new arrivals, refugees fleeing the ongoing war in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The influx has placed enormous pressure on the settlement's water supply, health centres and schools. For the past two years, Australia for UNHCR has been providing Nakavali's refugees with essential relief. The organisation's Deputy Director, Deborah O'Neill, recently travelled to the camp to assess its priority needs. Nakavali refugees walk an average of four kilometres for water every day. Each person is receiving less than half the minimum daily requirement. There's almost no groundwater for wells and the lake water is unsafe for drinking. UNHCR is building a new water pumping and purification system in Nakavali. Help us extend the water pipeline and install community tap stands to give hundreds of refugee families access to clean drinking water. Nakavali has two health centres and only one small hospital ward. Falciparum malaria, the most deadly strain, is the major health issue here. We lack anti-malarial drugs. Drugs, first of all, is not sufficient. Because we have a total population of... Actually, we have 33,000 here. But drugs are being provided for 26,000 people. That means there's a gap which must be filled. That's number one. Each month, more than 80 babies are born in the camp's health centres. Australia for UNHCR provides clean delivery kits for midwives and home births. But a shortage of emergency transport is putting mothers' and babies' lives at risk. The nearest regional hospital is a two-and-a-half-hour drive away. With just one ageing ambulance for 36,000 people, seriously ill patients can wait hours for emergency transport. Uh, another priority is uh, transport generally. We, we need to get transport in place. Help us save lives in Nakavali by supporting the purchase of an ambulance and providing better frontline treatments for malaria. Number of classrooms here, but there's 99 children per classroom, which means that there's extreme overcrowding. The kids are sharing one textbook per six students, which again indicates a huge need. Australia for UNHCR has helped provide support to these children. We've provided textbooks and pens and pencils, and also exercise books for the children and teacher training, which has made a huge difference. grateful with UNHCR that uh, in this kind of uh, atmosphere, this crisis, they came in and provided some materials that they were able to provide. Just within a week you may have a refugee influx of like 2,000 in one week because uh, <clears throat> If somebody is running from persecution in his mother country, he cannot wait. So, like uh, this, we had uh, around 2,500 2, last year, but when the Congolese came, recently when the Congolese came, the number raised from 2,050 to 3,153. And in that situation, uh, we had a problem of classrooms. Uh, 
All these, all these you see under trees are classes. The good thing is we have portable blackboards. Uh, we, we, we take the blackboards and uh, we teach our children under trees. Uh, but then, as I told you, it becomes a problem when weather change. I mean, uh, weather changes like it has done today. Uh, can we imagine 3,000, for example, 3,153 being controlled by 32 teachers? Can you imagine? This is practically impossible. There is no secondary school in the camp. Some of the older children continue their studies in the crowded primary school, but most give up their education. <laughs> Help us build a secondary school in Nakavali refugee settlement to give its young people hope for a better, brighter future. <laughs>